Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to today's Sunday School. I hope you've had a good week. My name is Henry. Before we start, could we start with a word of prayer? Our Father and our God, we thank you today. We thank you for our lives, and we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for each and every boy and girl, and Lord, thank you even for giving us an opportunity that we can hear your word today. That even as we enjoy your word today, may you be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you prayed that prayer with me. And yeah, it's another beautiful Sunday that God has given to us. And you know what? The Lord has something special in store for each and every one of us. I just want you to sit back and listen even as you enjoy today's Bible story, which is coming from the book of Judges, chapter 6, from verse 11 to verse 40. I believe that you have your Bibles with you and a notebook so that you can write some of these points. The month of February, we are looking at the life of Gideon. And the first Sunday, we looked at dealing with idols. The children of Israel, whenever they obeyed God, God would give them victory against their enemies. But when they disobeyed and went into worship of idols, God would hand them over to their enemies who would oppress them. And so last Sunday we looked at how uh, we can deal with idols in our lives. And today we just want to look at how we can deal with fear in our lives. Gideon was one of the young men in Israel. He was a man that loved God and feared God. And at this particular time, he, was, uh, he went to the, uh, to the garden so that he can uh, take care of the wheat that they had planted. He wanted to prepare this wheat so that he can hide them from the Midianites. The Midianites were cruel people. They would come and destroy their crops and destroy everything. And so Gideon went so that he can prepare his wheat so that it will not be destroyed by the Midian Manites. And as he went there, and he was, as he was just uh, doing his work, an angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, Mighty man of war, how are you? And Gideon looked and wondered, Who is this? How do you call me a mighty man of war? Don't you know who I am? I am Gideon, the least in my family. And my family is the least in our clan. And our clan is the least in, the, in our tribe. And then you call me mighty man of war? I don't think so. I am just a weakling. There is nothing good I can do. After all, these people have been oppressing us. We only hear of stories of how God used to save our people during these times of crisis. But we no longer see him. He's no longer there for us. But the angel of the Lord told him, do not worry. I will be with you. I will help you to conquer. I want you to go at once and attack uh, these people. But Gideon said, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean me? Go attack them? I don't think so. But the angel of the Lord told him, I will be with you. Many of us are afraid of so many things. Some of us are afraid of cockroaches. Others are afraid of darkness. Others are afraid of nothing. We are just scared. And you know what? This is how Gideon was. But the angel of the Lord assured him that he will be with him. And so the angel of the Lord told him, can you go and destroy the altar that your father has built for Baal and for the idols? And Gideon said, no, 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 no. I can't do that. I can't. No, 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 no. You're not serious. You want me to be killed. I don't want to die. I'm still young. But the angel of the Lord told him, you go. In your mighty strength, for I will be with you. And so Gideon goes and plans and he says, I will not do it during daytime. I'll do it at night when they are asleep. And so at night, Gideon went and destroyed 
the uh, altars of Baal and he raised another altar and he offered a sacrifice. And when morning came, the villagers saw that the altar of idols had been destroyed and they said, we know who has done this. This must be Gideon. We knew him. We knew he was up to no good. And wait until we get hold of him. We'll destroy him. But the, uh, Gideon's father told them, no. Are you going now to fight for Baal? If Baal is God, he can fight for himself. So don't worry. Let him fight for himself. And so Gideon comes back. And the angel of the Lord speaks to him again. And tells him, you know what? Now you can go and fight and destroy and attack the Midianites. But Gideon says, no, 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 no. I'm not yet ready. No, not yet ready. Please, just one more time. Just one more time. I would like you to prove to me that you are sending me. You see, I have a hole or wool in my hands. Please, in the morning, I would like us to wake, I would like to wake up and find this wool soaked in water, and yet the ground would be dry. That would help me to prove that it is you who has sent me. And so he goes to sleep and he keeps the wool outside. And in the morning, he finds it soaked in water. And he's surprised, oh, it is soaked in water. And the surrounding is dry. But I don't think I'm still sure. Let me try one more time, God. Just one more time, the angel. One more time. Please, this night, I would like to leave this wool again outside. And tomorrow morning when I wake up, let me find the wool dry and the ground soaked in water. And so he goes to sleep. And in the morning, to his surprise, he finds the wool dry and the surrounding soaked in water. And he says, surely, this must be the Lord sending me. And he says, he will go. You know what, children? Many a times we are afraid. We are afraid of many things. And the devil wants us to be afraid so that we will not accomplish what he has in store for us. And you know what? The Bible says that we should not be afraid. He has given us, he has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power, love, and sound mind. So we can trust in God, no matter the situation, no matter the kind of fear that the devil would want to bring on our way. This morning, we can pray to God, and God is able to deal with our fear. My name is Luta from Nairobi Baptist Church, Westlands, and today I have a memory verse for you. Psalms chapter 46, verse 1, and it says, God is our refuge and our strength, a never present help in times of trouble. Thank you. Wow, that was a good memory verse. And I believe that we are going to remember it even as we go into our today's story about Gideon and dealing with with the fear in our lives. I want us to pray. Is there anyone who has anything uh, that is afraid of that would like us to pray? I want you to pray together with me even as we trust God. Our Father and our God, thank you for every boy, thank you for every girl. Thank you because you know they are fears. But today, Lord, you are telling us not to be afraid because you are with us. You have a good plan for our lives, but because of fear, Lord, we have not been able to accomplish. We pray that is from today, you will help us that we'll be able to deal with the fear in our lives. We know fear is not of God, it's of the devil. But today we stand with God, knowing that with him, we are more than conquerors. And so be with us, even as you give us a good week. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope you have been blessed by that uh, story. And my prayer is that this week, the Lord will strengthen you, that the Lord will drive away every fear in your heart and that you'll go forth with the power and authority knowing that God is with you. Have a very beautiful week. Bye-bye and God bless you.